All right, Fishaholic fam, well, welcome back to another episode or welcome to the channel. If you're a first time viewer, my name is Rich and today we are still here in Charleston, South Carolina and uh, we're gonna get out in the kayak today and hopefully catch some reds or trout or flounder. And a uh, huge shout out to my sister Erica for letting uh, me and my family crash at her house here in Charleston for a few days, uh, or well, a little over a week for me. And uh, it's a beautiful house. If you guys wanna check it out and stay here and come down and fish, or uh, just stay here and visit uh, the Charleston area. Uh, she does Airbnb out uh, a couple rooms in her house, so uh, I'll put that information down in the description if you wanna check it out. But uh, for now, let's uh, get this day started. Uh, I'm gonna hop in and uh, head to Hadrill's and uh, get some jig heads and uh, some bait possibly if they have uh, uh, like mud minnows or killies, uh, which I'm thinking could be really good to fish with today. Uh, if, we, if they don't have that, then I might try to catch uh, some mullet out uh, in the creeks, but uh, stay tuned. I will see you guys out on the water. made it to the spot and uh, actually sent the drone up to find some fish because the water is uh, still at a really low level right now. It's uh, the beginning of the incoming tide and I'm just gonna start out with this little three inch uh, Z-Man, although we do have plenty of bait that I'm gonna try uh, in a little bit. And uh, we fished the same area yesterday, but uh, I'm just hoping to get uh, some larger size redfish. bunch of redfish right there come on eat 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 oh just got a few bites there but uh, I think they just nipped at the back of the tail you know what let's uh, try a live bait let's see if this little Mud minnow, killy, whatever you want to call them, can entice red to eat. Perfect. Oh, just got eight. There he is. Fish on. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist a little mud minnow. Feels like a pretty decent red too. Woo! Just making my little uh, 4000 Stratic scream a bit. And uh, I've got this Stratic paired up with uh, the seven foot uh, dark matter psychedelic green spinning rod. Beautiful redfish right there. Perfect. There he goes. And check this out. Still got our bait and he's still alive. All right, let's see if we can get one to eat that. Oh, just got eight. There he is. Fish on. Small guy. Still fun though on the light tackle. Beautiful colored tail. See you, buddy. All right. Looks like there's a few reds right here off this oyster bar still. So I'm just gonna let my bait soak. See if one is hungry enough to come and pick them up. And I think we just got eight. There he is. Nice. 
oh yeah beautiful red and just slightly bigger than i think our first one oh gosh <laughs> they're feisty nice look at that fat butterball right there beautiful there she goes Woo! all right well this is awesome we've been here for like 10 minutes already have uh three decent reds on the board and uh unfortunately now the drone uh batteries are toast they're dead so uh we're gonna just uh fish a little bit longer the old-fashioned way and see if we can get some more and whoa no way i think i just got eight there he is yep <laughs> that didn't last long and you know yesterday i did not use the drone to assist me in finding fish and i did not have any bait so um i think that's what really put us at a disadvantage and uh i bet you we were throwing our little swim bait in front of a ton of fish yesterday but they're probably just more finicky because uh recently we've had a little cold snap in this area and typically that can happen when uh the water temp drops a little bit uh, air temp drops and uh, the bays are starting to get shorter so it seems the reds here really just want a nice little feisty live bait to entice them to eat. Also, by the way, uh, we're getting close to 200K subscribers. And uh, when I hit 200K, I'm going to be giving away two dark matter psychedelic spinning rods. And uh, you'll be able to choose your color if you win. And uh, we just got eight. There's another one. Redfish number five. And on top of the two rods, I'm also going to be giving away a uh, Fisk Gear sunglasses uh, set with uh, three pairs of polarized uh, sunglass lenses in it. And uh, I'll be announcing the giveaway once I hit 200K. So uh, if you want to be kept up to date uh, when I make that video announcing how you can enter and win, just uh, smash that red subscribe button. And uh, we're getting so close. I'm hoping that uh, we hit 200K before uh, the holiday season is here or is over because uh, that would be just so cool if I could uh, you know, do the giveaway during the holiday season and then uh, get you out uh, your your gifts if you uh, or your prizes if you end up winning. So yeah, smash that subscribe button. All right, let's keep at it. Hopefully the next one will be a little bigger than those last two. Oh, got eight already. There he is. Nice. This will be number six if we land them. Yeah, we got them. They are stacked here. And this guy's still alive. I'm just going to hook him a little better and throw him back in there. Oh, we are on. There's another one. Nice insane how many reds are here that's a little better look at that beautiful fish super fun too Just got thumped hard. Oh, yeah. This one might be a little better quality. The 
this one thumped it so hard. Now it's probably about the same size as the last one. Sweet. There we go, another fat butterball. There's number eight. <laughs> this one was really feisty. So fun. Let's get it back. Oh, I think I'm on. There he is. Another really tiny one but still beautiful. And this is number nine. And for whatever reason, I just feel like keeping track today because we're on just such a hot bite. So for my next couple casts, uh, I'm just gonna back away from the grass and I'll probably go back there in a little bit if uh, this doesn't pan out, but uh, this is usually a good redfish spot, so I just wanna try it. You know, I'm assuming if they're in there, they should be out here, but uh, maybe not. So we'll see what happens. And uh, if not reds, we could also get a trout out here or a flounder. Oh, just got eight. There we go. Nice keep of trout. Sweet. All right, fish number 10. I made some speckled trout last night for the fam and they all loved it. So I'm gonna keep uh, probably a few more today. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. This guy's still alive after getting destroyed by that trout. I'm gonna try back in here where we're getting the reds again. And uh, it's almost starting to get deep enough along the grass where uh, we might be able to get away with uh, fishing with a float and uh, just drifting it along. Oh, just got eight. There he is. Oh, what do we got here? I think we got a little flounder. Nice. Now flounder have to be 16 inches to keep in South Carolina. So I'm just gonna measure this guy quick and he is just a little over 14. So close, but no cigar. Maybe. All right, I'm deploying the shallow water anchor right here because uh, after we caught uh, that flounder back that way, I looked up this way and I saw a bunch of little finger mullet jumping and I saw some bigger fish uh, chasing them right up to the edge of the grass. So let's uh, try it along here for a little bit. Oh, look at this one. This is a nice fat one. In my opinion, these little mud minnows or killifish uh, are like one of the best baits you can fish because they're extremely hardy, almost as hardy as like an eel. They also aren't expensive, and uh, most importantly, the fish love them. Oh my god, we just got eight. What? That was the quickest bite from a redfish I, I've ever had. Like it hit the water and, and it like must have just like went right in his mouth. That was insane. Whoa, this guy's ripping. Look at that. This one's a little skinny. I wonder if I give him one, will he eat it? Because uh, Snook and Jack Creval, you can do that with, and uh, they will eat it. Well, this guy's kind of toast. But I'm gonna try throwing him out there dead and seeing if he still works. Got eight. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> this one ate it way over there and just ripped to the right like a Jack Creval. On the dead mud minnow too. Oh my gosh. Oh. Getting all tangled up here. This is a fat one. Look at that one. Number 12. All right, put on a fresh live bait. And uh, the water's starting to get uh, much deeper and we're starting to get a little more current. So I'm gonna try uh, adding a float above our bait so that uh, we can just like cover this whole stretch right here by letting our bait just drift right along the grass. And uh, by the way, I'm using a 10 pound Green Moss Power Pro braid and a 25 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. Oh, just got eight. There he is. Real small one again. But that's still 13. All right, I'm gonna make a slight move because uh, we took a few more casts after that last red and uh, no other bites. Got eight. Oh yeah. There he is. Oh, I lost him. Let's see if we can get another quick bite right here. Oh yeah. Instantly. Got eight. So cool. All right, I just wanna measure this little red to see if he's a keeper. And nope, it's 14 and a half. They gotta be 15 to be keepers. Oh my gosh. I looked away for a second and as soon as it hit the water, like the fish must have ate it. And Cause I looked back and the bobber was just gone. That was insane. I, I wish I would have caught that on camera with the bobber disappearing. This is one of the nicer ones of the day. Perfect. I'll give you your dinner, buddy. That's a nice solid inshore red right there. Probably about like 27 inches or so. 28's like right there. So nice. And it's a thick one. All right, well, I think that is gonna be a wrap for this video. Uh, we did fish for like 45 more minutes and caught one more keeper trout. So we got two in the box and we're gonna have a tasty dinner tonight, just like uh, last night. Uh, I love trout, they're so tasty. And generally, if uh, they're like 
19, 20 inches and bigger, I release them, and uh, the minimum is 14 and up. So uh, I try to get them in like that 14 to like 16 to you know 18 inch range, and uh, those two in there are probably like 16 to 17, maybe 17 and a half, and uh, those will be perfect for the fryer. And now the sun is gonna set in like 15, 20 minutes, so I'm gonna beeline it back to the launch and uh, probably think about what I'm gonna do the next uh, few days that I'm down here in Charleston. Uh, you know, maybe uh, get out in the ocean if the winds are calm and uh, see if we can get on some like real big bull reds. And uh, if I can get some crabs, uh, either buy them or catch them myself, uh, maybe we can go for some sheep's head. So that'll be pretty cool and they taste great as well. But uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for more. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.